Hey guys, how are you going? And I welcome back to another Cricket 22 video. In this video, we'll be making our main career mode player. So let's get straight into it here. Player manager, create a male player. Of course, once we create this player, this is on the Steam version, the pre-ordered version. I, will, I should be able to share it and then I should just be able to upload it and start my career straight away. So let's get straight into it. First up, we're gonna be changing the name, of course. So stand by here. Have to do it on the laptop, slightly annoying. So there we go, we have done the play information. Gareth Weaver, birth date of course. Shoot number number nine, of course, always have number nine. Commentary, commentary surname, they didn't actually have Weaver, so I'm a bit gutted about that. Location Australia, we will be getting amongst Australia again, just because we can play the Ashes. We All the domestic teams are already licensed as well. None of the other domestic uh, competitions have any licensed stuff, so it's the pretty much the main reason, unfortunately. Um, as for the which state team and club team we're going to be, we'll find that out when we actually start the career mode on Thursday. Before I do the appearance though, we'll go through everything else just to, uh, and then I'll do like a, I'll speed that up just to get the appearance stuff done. But for now, we'll look at the personality. So the role will be once again, another bowling all rounder. I know this is pretty much, I've done this to say the last two or three, uh, two or three career modes. Now pretty, the only reason why I do it is because in real life I try to mimic it as close as possible so like I am a bowling all rounder. I say a bowling type fast, I don't bowl fast, it's just I want to bowl 150k's in the game because it's cool. Uh, just good to see uh, bowl gas at 150 clicks. So we'll go bowling all rounder, batting hand right, batting position, we will be middle order or lower order. I think we'll start lower order and work our way up. Batting style one, now here we go. Now, when we were looking at all these styles before, I was fairly keen on batting style number six. So this is uh, batting style number one, probably not gonna go there. Style two, not that one. Style three, nice little push. Style four, style five, Steve Smith. That is the one that we did have in the previous, in Cricket 19 for the career mode. And then style six, I don't mind that one at all. Just seems, Got a lot of flair about it, I'm all about that. So for now, we'll go style six. Uh, batting mentality, look, we normally are, if I'm trying to mimic this based on myself, I'm aggressive as fuck and I have many a brain fade, so I think maybe even brute. So I'll just try and fucking smash the ball out of the park. Doesn't always work, I mean, it never works really. Bowling arm right, bowling type fast, bowling style, now we have played it safe in the past. This is a pretty standard uh, style here. We're going to be mixing it up. That's the Mitch Stark one, the right-handed version. I actually don't mind that one at all. Style three, I think we may have had that one. Can't quite remember. Style four, slinger, no thank you. Style five, won't be doing that one. Style six, no thank you. That's the Joffre, we won't be doing that one. Style eight, I think we are going with style eight, which is of course the Jimmy Anderson. I'm keen on Jimmy Anderson's uh, action. It's it's one of the uh, best looking actions in the game, really. So I'll just double check that it is that one. Nine is Broad, 10 is Boomer, and 11 is, I think, Rabada, but uh, Jury's out on that one still. So style number eight is what we'll be going with, and that is Jimmy Anderson. Bowling mentality. Now, I don't know if it's brute areas. I think it's more precise. We'll go with that one. Uh, voice, I think it doesn't really matter. Voice is just gonna be I think we'll just leave it at that, keep the vocal pitch like that. So the skills have somewhat changed this year. Now what you can see in the middle of this is a heptagon there and it's almost like FIFA and Football Manager where based on your skills it will like, it will give you some sort of shape um, depending on what's your strengths and weaknesses. So I think for this, because we're doing a career mode, I think it's going to reset anyway for the skills and perks and all that. So I don't think it's possible, well it's not really needed at the moment. But for the sake of having a look at it, we've got judgment, running speed, power, footwork, control, attacking, defending, drive, cut, hook and pull, the glance, sweep, special shots. And then we've got for bowling, bouncer, yorker, slower ball, cross seam, off cutter, leg cutter, outswing, in swing, straight seam. And then you've got your fielding, coverage, catching, reflex catching, throw accuracy, throw strength, ground fielding, diving, and high ball catching. Now I'm not gonna put any levels on this just because it will reset when we play career mode, so we'll have to grind our way to get these skills up. So I'll just leave it like this for now. Perks, once again, it's going to be based on the career mode. We will start assigning them when we start our career. For now, it's no, there's no real point, but we've got we've already had we've got quite a few here. Like these are all the betting ones, 
There's a lot here. Some of them I think are from Cricket 19 as well, potentially. Can't quite remember because we got filled up the perks fairly quickly and then we just kept the perks for a lot of episodes. So these are all the perks here. I mean, if you really want to have a look at them, you could probably uh, pause as I'm going through them. But for now, I'm not going to assign any perks because it's not going to matter. Proficiencies. Once again, I think this is going to be another career mode thing where like agility, aerobic, anaerobic fitness. I think that might be stuff that you actually do in the gym. And then you've got slow bowling, short length, fast, yorker length, spin bowling. I think that will actually be what you do in the nets as well. So based on your weaknesses or strengths or weaknesses, you'll do nets training to maybe develop these proficiencies. So for now, I'm not going to touch any of them. I'm not going to put any stars up, but that's what I'm assuming will happen where the gym and the nets uh, come into play for the career mode. So as for the bat, we are going to be running bat sponsorships again this time around. Now we did this in Cricket 19. I thought it was a really uh, fun way of trying to grind your way to the bat you actually want to use. So what we're going to be doing when you make your club debut, you're going to be starting off with a blank bat, no sponsors whatsoever. If you score your first 100 at the club level or when you do essentially, I'm going to have a choice out of uh, signing up with Icon or DSC as a bat sponsor. Next up, once we make our first class debut, the New Balance or GM uh, representatives will knock on our door, we'll decide which brand we want to go with, and then we'll choose our own bat there. When we make our first ton at the first class level, we'll be able to select from either a Kookaburra or Grey Nichols bat. And then once we make our international debut, we'll be able to select any bat we want, and also we'll be able to change the bat up once again once we make our first international ton. So that's something I've been doing for the last couple of career modes. I think it just adds to the immersiveness of it. I mean, you can't do real life uh, sponsorships in the game. So I thought I'd try and do my own sort of spin on it. Uh, if you guys want to use the same sort of setup that I do, um, then feel free to do so. I have got a, had a few questions about um, why they haven't been, why people haven't been able to do this in the game because um, they think it's actually in the game. So I guess that's a, that's a compliment more than anything that it actually ties in with the game so well. So yeah, if you guys want to use the same thing, then I recommend just taking a screenshot of it and just working your way through it like I'm doing it right here. And then stats, we won't be touching the stats. As for the equipment side, I'm going to be using team kit for pretty much everything. Team kit, yep, because I want to use the Missouris. Uh, for the batting gloves, let's actually take a look here. So we, wanted, we don't want to use the team kit. The batting gloves, I want to go these, I think these ones here, I think we'll go those. As for the pattern, I'm going to probably leave it as pure white just because it looks the cleanest. And now I'm not going to touch the colors there, all the logos. We don't have any real life logos anyway. It would be cool though if, if we do download it like a Kookaburra bat or something, we can then put like a Kookaburra logo on it potentially. Uh, not doing that at the moment. Keeping gloves, I'm just going to use Team Kit because we're not going to be a keeper so it doesn't really matter. But we're using the white gloves there. Um, arm guard, I will not be using an arm guard. I think we have to go use Team Kit to not be able to use an arm guard because there's 11 options and one is an arm guard. Or we just go none, why don't I do that? Um, and then pads, so I'm not gonna use the team kit. These pads are, I don't know, they need more pad options really. We'll go, which ones, not those ones. Those ones look, I'm trying to figure out which ones are the most modern. Is it those? I don't know. These ones, I can't tell if they're old or not. I think I'm just gonna go, look, I'm going to play it safe actually and just go team kit and see what they do. Okay, we've gone through the stats, they've gone through the equipment, proficiencies, perks and skills will all be done when we actually start our career mode on Thursday, which will be tomorrow of course. Uh, we've done the personality, personality, I should say. Next up is the appearance. Now I'm going to speed this up because I tend to take quite some time trying to do this stuff. So stand by and let's see what uh, we're going to look like.
So uh, there we go. It looks absolutely nothing like me. And uh, I don't know why. It just looks slightly off. I don't, I'm not entirely sure. But anyway, we're going to rock uh, with this bloke. He is uh, at least 3.75 times more handsome than me. So we'll take that. But there we go. That is the creation of our new career mode player, Gareth Weaver. So, of course, tomorrow we will be starting this career mode, hopefully in the morning. Hopefully I get a career mode episode done and dusted then. I'm trying to do two for the first couple of days and see how we go, but uh, very, very busy at this time. So, yeah, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe. If you're feeling up to it, leave a comment down below. Always appreciate reading those ones. But uh, until then, take it easy.